Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, the area for this green triangle is 35 centimeters square, whereas the area for this blue triangle is 28 centimeters square in the given rectangle, as you can see in this diagram. And now we are going to calculate the area of this yellow quadrilateral. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And since we are dealing with this challenging kind of problem, so we are going to be creative and we are going to think outside the box. So therefore, let's go ahead and connect these points A and E. So I'm going to draw this line that connect points A and E. And here's our much nicer looking uh, diagram. Now let's focus on this uh, triangle AEC as you can see over here. And also this triangle ECB as you can see over here. And now we can see that both of these uh, triangles have this uh, common base EC. And we can also see the height for both of these triangle is this uh, which is uh, same height. And since both of these triangles have the same base and the height, so therefore the area of this triangle AEC equals to the area of this other triangle ECB. And we can see the area for this green triangle has been given to us as 35. The area for this blue triangle has been given to us as 28. So we don't know the area of this part. Let me go ahead and call this area x so therefore the combined area for this uh, triangle aec is going to be x plus 28 let me go ahead and write down the area for this triangle aec is x plus 28 equals to and now let's focus on the area of this other triangle ecb the combined area is going to be 28 plus 35 let me go ahead and write down 28 plus 35. Now we can see 28 and 28 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore, the value of x turns out to be 35. So that means the area for this triangle, which is x, I'm going to replace it by 35 centimeter square. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these uh, four triangles. This one, green one, the blue one, this yellow one, and this uh, white one as well. And since we don't know the area of this uh, white triangle, let me represent this uh, area by Y. And now let's focus on this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, E. And now let me go over this uh, concept uh, pretty quick. If we have this uh, quadrilateral, as you can see, if this uh, triangle uh, has an area A, this triangle area B, this area C, and this area D, then the area of these uh, opposite triangles, uh, A times C equal to the other opposite triangles, uh, B times uh, D. Therefore, we are going to apply this concept uh, in this uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, E. Let's go ahead and multiply out uh, these opposite uh, areas. So I can write uh, 28 times Y equals to, now let's multiply out uh, these uh, opposite uh, areas as well. So let me go ahead and write down 35 times 35. So let me go ahead and divide both sides by 28 to isolate uh, y. So this 28 and 28 is gone. So therefore our y value, if we simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us 43.75. And this is our y value. So therefore I'm going to replace this y value by 43.75. 75 centimeters square and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, rectangle uh, a b c d now let me go over this basic concept uh, pretty quick if we have uh, this uh, rectangle 
and uh, if this is our main diagonal then it cuts uh, this uh, rectangle into two equal triangles that means if this area is an a then this area has got to be a it's both of these uh, triangles are congruent therefore we are going to apply this uh, concept uh, in our case on this uh, rectangle a b c d it has been uh, divided into two congruent uh, triangles the first one is uh, this one and the second one uh, is uh, this and now we know that the area of this uh, blue triangle is uh, 28 the area of this part of the yellow quadrilateral is uh, 35 and we don't know this part the area let me go ahead and represent this area by z so therefore according to this fact uh, the combined area of this uh, lower right triangle is going to be equal to the combined area of this uh, upper triangle let me go ahead and write down this combined area for this part uh, let me write down uh, z plus uh, 35 plus uh, 28 equals to this uh, combined area on the other side which is 43.75 plus uh, 35 and now we can see this 35 and 35 cancels out so therefore we got uh, z plus uh, 28 equals to 43.75 let's go ahead and subtract 28 from both sides this is gone so therefore our z value is going to be 15.75 so therefore i'm going to replace uh, this uh, z by this uh, 15.75 centimeter square and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow quadrilateral and the area of this uh, yellow quadrilateral is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual areas 15.75 and this uh, 35 so therefore this yellow area is going to be 15.75 plus uh, 35 and if we add both numbers that's going to give us uh, 50. Point, uh, 75 centimeter square so therefore the combined area for this uh, yellow quadrilateral is going to be 50.75 so thus the area of this uh, yellow quadrilateral turns out to be 50.75 centimeter square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye